What the hell happened? Episode 18. In case you're wondering, the reason I named this series What the Hell Happened is I look back on everything and I say, what the hell happened? Like, I do understand a lot of it, but there's a ton of it I don't. Particularly going forward as we get into a lot more of the stuff, um, I'm really like, what the hell? <laughs> anyway, in the last episode, we covered Animal Treatment by Jezebel. Um, my sister, and it really wasn't, uh, wasn't awesome. Um, if you didn't watch that episode and you don't want to because you don't want to hear about all that, it just wasn't awesome. Um, so, moving onward. My relationship with my wife Delilah, and I think that's what I'll primarily focus on on this one because that had deteriorated to the point where we were pretty much kind of butting heads, um, I was extremely frustrated with her. No doubt she was extremely frustrated with me. Um, but I only have my side of the story to tell and only my perspective. So that's the only one I'm telling. Um, basically, I really felt like she was... I knew she was tired of everything. Um, which is understandable. Um, but I was extremely stressed with how much I was trying to get done, in part mostly to try to make sure that she had the things that she kept complaining about. Um, I don't like this, I don't like that, I don't like this, you know, it's, it's kind of like a hostile honey to do list and it's like get this stuff done. And so I'm pushing like crazy to get all these things done. Um, at the same time, I felt like not only was she not helping me, but rather she was actually hindering me um, in a number of different ways from actually doing it and just it just it just I was frustrated like extremely frustrated and I felt the levels of anger um, the same levels I had when I would scream and yell at her after she cheated on me um, was that related to me not fully being over that I have no idea I was just I was just fed up um, anyway um, so we, we've got this, we've got this tension between us. Jezebel, my sister, is spending way more time out in the field. She's just off on her own for the most part. Um, particularly at mealtimes, we all came back together. Um, religiously, we still pretty much believe the same thing. There were some differences um, that kind of just prevented us from really even having discussions and, and talking about it much anymore, which was kind of something we all like initially had bonded over and been really good with. Um, so that plays a role. I'll jump back to this, but I want to keep this part of the, uh, the relationship part of the story on track. Um, one of the, with, with all these issues I'm having with my wife, I go to Jezebel. Jezebel has all kinds of suggestions. She basically, you could almost envision her just like whispering in my ear. Like she was just constantly telling me, telling me things about, um, my wife and just like, you know, she's not doing this. She's not doing this. She is doing this. She did this. I saw, and it's just all this stuff coming to me. And I'm just like, you know, depending on what it was, I'm like, what the hell? And I go over to her and go over to my wife and I'm like, you know, what's, what's going on, Delilah? Why is, why is, you know, she says this and then she says, well, yeah, but, and then it's this whole thing. And I just had myself in such a bad spot in the relationship that I have no doubts in my mind that I was unfair to my wife and not even considering taking her side and putting her in a no-win position. Um, you know, a lot of, a lot of that's just on me. Like, that's not how you handle a relationship. Yeah, I'm super frustrated. Okay, well, that's not really an excuse or it is. It's just not a good excuse. Um, I don't have a good excuse. Um, we had issues and Jezebel was essentially helping drive a wedge in the relationship. I can't totally blame her. I'm the one that listened to her. It's my relationship and really what happens with it and what I choose to do is on me. Some of the big issue and a lot of this could have just been resolved if I would have just talked with Delilah and we could have just gotten to the bottom of this, but we never really had conversations. Um, if I would bring up anything or there was any kind of discussion that really needed to be had that was somewhat, 
you know, there's an issue to resolve and bringing it up. Delilah would always, it was always a super high emotional thing. She would always burst into tears and it would be this big, long, stretched out thing. And somehow the whole conversation ended up being about something unrelated and she's just all crazy emotional about it and just having all these issues. And then the only thing I can do is just try to make her feel better, I guess. Like, I, I didn't really know what to do. Like, you know, she's just got all these life issues and everything else. And it's just like, whoa, like, I just want to resolve this one issue. Like, I can't spend the next day and a half, like, comforting you. Like, I, I just, it just, we just couldn't have a conversation. And I felt that I couldn't communicate with her because every time I attempted to, it turned into this whole like huge emotional ordeal and we never got around to what the initial conversation ever was. At some point, all of these issues came to a head. Um, it was pretty much me and my wife, we, I have no idea what happened. It was probably like a straw that broke the camel's back sort of thing. I don't remember what was said. I don't remember what was done. It was probably something fairly minor. Um, it just, I just hit my threshold like that that was just just it I just couldn't I just couldn't deal with it anymore it's too frustrated to just no I was I was just that was it um and ended up and I ended up taking Jezebel's advice she had been giving me all sorts of advice you know that you know Delilah needs to do this she needs to do this all this stuff and like you know if this happens then you should do this and you know, and I don't know, it all sounded good to me. It all, it all seemed logical. Um, but ultimately, if I chose to take her advice, it's all on me. Um, we ended up having some kind of, some kind of issue. And I basically said, I can't be around you anymore. Um, I told Delilah, we, we cannot No, like, I cannot see you. We, we have to be separate. Like, and I think I gave a, I think the time period I gave was like two weeks. We just need to get apart and cool off and reset because this is just like, just awful. Um, and Jezebel had been putting in my mind over and over again. There's this other camper up here. You got a heater and everything else for me. And you know, maybe she should just go up there and, and stay there for a while. And she had been suggesting that sounded good to me. And so I said, I didn't say get out, but I essentially said, get out. Um, so, and I said, take whatever stuff you need and just go up there and, and be up there for a while and just stay, stay separate from me. Um, and it just, I think she took it really, really hard. Um, and not that I can blame her, but I was, I was literally at the point where like, yeah, she definitely could not stay with me for long durations of time because it would have been worse. Like it just, it just would have gone really badly. Um, so she didn't like the idea. Um, she was upset about it. Inevitably she grabbed all her stuff and went up there. Um, and you know, then we're all just kind of apart. Like we're all, we're all for the most part separate. We still kind of came together at like a meal time, but that was pretty much it. Delilah was still cooking and making food for everyone. Um, but yeah, that, that was, that was just a big issue. Once she was up at the camper, everything kind of just chilled and went at a new normal. She was planning to go to her parents for Thanksgiving. And once she came back, we were going to try to figure out something else that worked, but we figured it gave us a nice break, or at least I figured that. And then she was going to go up to her parents out of town and hang out with them. And now we've finally gotten to the part of the story that you guys actually want me to tell, but I had to give the entire backstory because I have to tie back to it a bunch. So now we're going to get into after she visits her family, what happens next? And that is in the next part.